Minnie Jean Brown Tricky said she was just hoping to get a better education when she made the decision to attend Central High School. In 1957, her and eight other black students, known as the Little Rock Nine, desegregated the all-white high school in Arkansas. She spoke about her experiences at a free lecture at Laurentian University on Wednesday. Once we uh, were turned away on the first day by the soldiers and the mob, uh, the reporters just reported it everywhere. And we were getting letters from around the world, and people were saying, we support you, we love you. And, Kids were, whole classrooms were sending pictures, and, and that is important because then you realize they get it and they are glad. But the Little Rock Nine's challenges weren't over when they were finally allowed to enter the school. Brown Tricky said they faced daily harassment from their fellow students. Nothing really makes up for it except to transform it, right, and, and use the story in a transformational way that you tell the horrific things, but you also say, well, this is what I learned and this is what we can learn. And so it's kind of like taking a bad story and, and turning it around. That's sort of how I think I want it to happen.